Today what we're going to do is take a DWG that was exported out of Inventor from an Inventor assembly that we've created and place it into a catalog file um, in AutoCAD Plant 3D Spec Editor. From the catalog we're going to then take it into this spec and from that spec we're going to take it into AutoCAD Plant 3D for use. So the first thing we're going to do is create, an, a, create a catalog from an existing catalog and I'm not going to um, go and uh, you know, modify any of the existing ones. I'd rather create a new catalog so that I know anything does go wrong, I've got backups to go back to. So I'm going to call this a uh, new val okay, and create that. So once that catalog has been created, I'm going to go to my catalog editor, select down at the bottom, press hold down control and A and then which selects everything right click and remove from catalog okay so i'm now starting off with an absolutely clean catalog where i can go putting all my components of the catalog that i want and then just pick and choose what i want from that catalog to put into my spec so then i'm going to go click on create new component and from the new component we can see there's two different types of graphics we can have so we start at the bottom over here and that graphics is either plant 3d parametric graphics or your custom AutoCAD DWG block based graphics, which is what I want. So selecting on custom, uh, also going to choose how many connection ports I want. So this is going to be a valve. There's an inflow and an outlet. So I'm going to choose two connections. The next part I'm going to do is my component category, and that is going to be a valve. And if I've got a different kind of component that I want, either the valve or the valve body. Under my primary in type, okay, I'm going to just say PL. Then under your metric, I'm going to define a size and that size is going to be 25. Once I've uh, put in all my inserts, I can click on create. Now, this the next, the next dialog box over here, or the next section, I've got my general properties and I've got my sizes. By selecting sizes, you'll see there's a little cross next to the 25. And for that, it's asking that, well, there's no model associated with that size. So I'm gonna click on select model and I'm going to go to my valves and choose my three-piece valve DN25. Now, what and why this shows over here is, I just wanna show you this over here. Just tip, use the plant part convert command to create a compatible block. So I have done a blog on this um, and what it does is, you need to do the plant part convert command on it because you have to specify where the ports are going to be on this component. And are the ports, you know, how, how the pipe is gonna to connect to this ports and what what's what a category that the ports are so is it threaded is it flanged um things like that is it welded so you need to do this plant part converts on a on a block before you bring this uh, this dwg in so selecting my my block select a okay, cat bring the preview over there and you'll see there's now a tick under the model tab or the model column the next thing i'm going to do is make sure that all the ports have the same properties okay if the ports didn't have the same properties, then you would have to go and make sure that both ports are have got information assigned to it. By clicking that, I just have to put information in the one port and then I'm good to go. So one thing that is required is your matching pipe OD. Okay, for this is going to be 28. And then a long description size. Okay, so um, okay, this port property value is just telling you that you know you've got um, basically, you know make all the properties for the one port the same as other ports. So that's just saying that it's overwriting your second port with the properties you put in over here. Now, your long description size, I'm going to make this DN25 ball valve, okay, just for a bit of a description. And then I'm basically done over here. Just on, on this note, this value over here is imperative to be put in. So you, if you do not put this value in, you will not be able to save to catalog as well as on your general properties. If I do not put in a long description family name, you will not be able to save to catalog either. Okay, so this one, I'm going to say ball valve. Um, and then, well, that, that's, that's it for now. Now on this as well, I'm gonna also click on all ports have the same properties. Normal units and millimeters and the end type is PL. So you can go and change that value over there as well. Um, so once I've done that, I can go save to catalog. 
So there it goes, it shows your preview, and at the bottom over there, size range 25 to 25, and your ball valve is your long description. Now let's go and add a different size. Okay, so add size, select your model, and let's choose the DN40. Okay, so there we go. And let's go and put in our normal diameter over here, which is 40. Our matching pipe OD is 43. Long description, let's make it DN40, ball valve. And under your general properties, Okay, all ports have the same properties, just make sure of that. As well as the top here, all ports have the same properties as well. Okay, once we're happy with that, we can click on another size. Or let me show you something first before I do that. Just go save to catalog, and you'll notice at the bottom here now it's gone 25 to 40. So let's add one more size, and then we're going to take it into our spec. Okay, so select model. Let's make it a DN10. And then all ports have the same properties. All ports have the same properties. And nominal uh, diameter is 10. Matching pipe OD is 12. And your long description, let's make a DN10 ball valve. Save to catalog. And at the bottom here, you can see this 10 to 40. I want to just show you advanced editing table. There you've got your 25, 40, and your 10, your long name, nominal size, matching. Okay. So once we've done this now, we can go take it into a spec. So going into my spec editor over here. Okay. If you do not see this catalog at the bottom over here, at the right over here, new catalog, you'll see there might be a whole bunch of catalogs that you've got available to you. You can just go select that and then you'll be able to bring it in. You'll be able to see what your your, your catalog uh, components are at the bottom. Now let's go create a new spec. So file, new spec, create spec. Give it a new name, new valve. Give it a description. This is my new valve spec. Ugh, 2010, create. Okay, so selecting our ball valve at the bottom over here, I click add to spec and it adds it to my spec over there. If I double click on it there, you can see once again, I'm able to go and edit my properties um, in my spec over here. Okay, so once this is done, I can now go into my plant 3D um, and bring it in as to, to work in my, my plant project. Once we've created everything in our spec, we can now bring it into our plant project. So in the project manager of the plant project, I can right click on my pipe specs and copy specs to project. With this, I go take a look at where my where my project is, or my sorry, my spec is, and the CPAC common, and go and place that into my project. So I think it's new valve. With that, we now want to see it in our tool palettes. So to change the tool palettes over here to our new valve, we select it. You'll notice that it's now available for new valve. And as you can see there, there's a preview of my um, of my my valve that I've created. If I bring it in and place it, you'll see there it brings in one of the valves that I, I have. Now, to take a look at, um, well, to see, if, you know, piping coming off it as well, select it, and you'll see there's the familiar little plus button, continue pipe routing. It's not going to route because I'm not in a spec, or this spec that I've got over here does not include any piping. So I'm going to open up a new spec, um, the 10HC01, and I'm going to select it, continue routing, and then you'll notice it continues routing over here. Now, what I can do is I can also, let's just go and put some, some different pipes. So remember, we, the valves we created was a, uh, was a 3 8 inch pipe or 10 millimeter pipe. Created a 25 millimeter pipe, normal diameter, and then a 40 pipe as well. Now, because we remember we only created one component in the in the catalog, and so but 
you know, one, one component, but there were three subcomponents in it, essentially. So if I go back to my, my spec here as well, my new val, and I grab, you see there's only one val, but when I grab it and I place it on the pipe over here, it will resize for me. Okay, so it's the same one, but I put onto the smaller pipe and it resizes for me. And then the smallest one. So it'll go choose the appropriate, um, appropriate components or valve um, for the appropriate size pipe. And that's how we take um, a, a DWG from an existing invent assembly or part and bring it into our catalog or spec for use in AutoCAD Plant 2D. Thank you very much for watching.